1. Eat in moderation. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, stressed the practice of eating less to prevent sickness and diseases, which is now supported by doctors today. The Islamic practice of eating suggests your stomach should be filled by one-third of food, one-third liquid and one-third breath. 2. Eat slow. It was narrated from the Prophet Muhammad was a strong advocate of eating slowly, to help with the digestion process. It takes about 20 minutes for the body to tell our brain that we are full. Slow eating helps digest our food, because efficiently chewed food aids the digestion process, and doesn't require as much energy and churning in the stomach or intestine. 3. Participate in sports to strengthen your body. In Islam, sports are perceived as important to gain a healthy body. Sports like archery, swimming, horseback riding, are especially encouraged. Islam encourages exercise and be in good physical shape. The Prophet, peace be upon him said, A strong believer is better and dearer to Allah than a weak believer, though in both is good. The one who is physically stronger is better before Allah, because they are more active and energetic in the performance of worship, and taking care of the needs of others. 4. Sleep and Salat The Prophet recommended adequate sleep. He never deprived himself of sleep nor overslept. He also advised and practiced to sleep at the early part of the night, and to wake up early in the morning. Science research shows that, going to bed early can help maintain a healthy weight, stay more productive, and avoid serious health problems, such as diabetes, obesity, and heart diseases. Salat is one of the five fundamental requirements that a Muslim is obligated to perform. The Prophet has reported to have said, Verily there is a cure in Salat, there are some physical benefits in Salat, such as, in the beginning of the Salat, we move our hand and shoulder muscles, therefore increasing the blood flow towards the torso. The heart in the most important organ in our body. Because it supplies fresh blood to all body tissues, the movements during prayer are a crucial source for exercise in our heart. Certain positions makes our hips, elbows, knee and wrist joints, and backbone move in a way that forms a relation in our body. 5. Share Foods Muhammad, peace be upon him, told his followers about the benefits of sharing, as opposed to overindulging in the good things in life. He said, he is not a believer who eats to his full but his neighbor goes without food. Islam emphasizing sharing food with neighbors, friends, and the poor. This principle of moderation is thanks to the Prophet's own life and ideas. 6. Foster a strong community. The Prophet brought attention to Muslims the significance of eating together. He said it's crucial to eat food with family and romantic relationships, and with children to build a better connection. People are usually relaxed when eating in company, and brings harmony, and understanding among people. He said, eat together and not separately, for the blessing is associated with the company. Within the past 20 years, studies have shown that, mindful eating can help you reduce overeating and binge eating, lose weight and reduce BMI, cope with eating problems, and reduce anxious thoughts about your body and food. 7. Fasting. Recent evidence has shown that, the foods we eat and timing have impacted our health. Fasting was a practice that the Prophet would do not just during Ramadan, but Monday, Thursday, and, the 13, 14 and 15 of every Islamic month. Intermittent fasting has become increasingly popular, as it shows numerous benefits to the body. Fasting helps with weight loss, improves insulin sensitivity, speeds up metabolism, curbs hunger, improves eating patterns, enhances brain function, and boosts immune system. 8. Dental Hygiene The Prophet would always brush his teeth before and after bed, using a part of a fruitless yet fragrant branch, called Arak. This small wooden branch, was used and is still used today as a toothbrush. Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave special attention to cleanliness and personal hygiene in respect to faith. Research shows that, poor dental hygiene was 70% risk of heart diseases according to a study, called Scottish Health Survey. 
9. Drink water slowly. The Prophet said to not drink water in one gulp like a camel, instead take small sips. Today, science shows that, when a person drinks water too much in a short period of time, they can imbalance blood electrolyte levels and experience dizziness. Drink water slowly, as it will help you absorb the fluid and get the most out of it. 10. Mental Health The Prophet taught his followers to have a peaceful mind, though acceptance in life changes. He warned them not to be engulfed with anxiety, depression, or anger. A man said to the Prophet, Give me advice. The Prophet said, Do not get angry. The man asked repeatedly, and the Prophet answered each time, Do not get angry. Prophet Muhammad knew that, if a person controlled his anger, he would be able to control everything else. The Prophet mentioned in another hadith. The powerful man is not the one who can wrestle, but the powerful man is the one who can control himself at the time of anger. Anger opens the door to all bad qualities, and staying away from it opens the door to all good qualities. Health studies show that, anger can raise your chances of a stroke, puts your heart at a greater risk and weakens your immune system.